According to the National Breast Cancer Foundation, one in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. But doctors are catching breast cancer earlier and earlier, saving lives in the process. It's why breast cancer awareness and early screening is so important. So here now with how Community Regional Medical Centers is supporting advances in breast cancer, we have Kelly Biscay, Manager of Medical Imaging at the Marjorie E. Raiden Breast Care Center. And we have Patricia Martinez, Manager of Oncology Support Services for the Community Cancer Institute. So thank you guys both so much for being here. This is, I think this is why, you know, we are doing so well at catching breast cancer and curing people and helping people through this journey because we talk about it so much, because we have people who are like you who come on and talk about what you do and the successes that you're having. So first I want to start with the Raiden Breast Care Center at Community. What is it? What are you guys doing there? Well, the Marjorie Raiden Breast Care Center at Community Health Systems is a comprehensive breast care center where we offer services from detection to treatment. And so when we say comprehensive, how might that be different than how we treated breast cancer in the past maybe? It's a one-stop shop to where you can have a, your screening mammogram, you be diagnosed with breast cancer, high risk. We offer all services to take care of you from there. And I would think that that is beneficial to patient outcomes because it's all in one spot. Because not only is the diagnosis, you know, sometimes that can feel very daunting and overwhelming. And then on top of that, you have to go see this doctor over here or go see, go get this procedure over here. And so now we have it in one spot and we can, you know, totally wrap our arms around around the patients. At your, at your center, tell us about your center, what you guys do. Community Cancer Institute, as well as a one-stop shop, we have your physicians, our laboratory, our radiology center, radiation, oncology, and infusion, and our team of oncology support services. So everything is located in one area, whereas prior to us opening our doors um, in 2018, patients had to travel right. uh, multiple locations to get that support. And now they can stay here close to home to get the best cancer care. And these two uh, centers, these two places, they're on the same campus, correct? Yes. Correct. How, how are they different from each other? Why might one patient go some one way and somebody might go another way? If you require any imaging, you will be at the Raiden Breast Care Center. Got it. It's once you're diagnosed, mm -hmm. uh, then you go to Patricia's team. Okay. Okay, so we are taking care of everything. Every Everywhere has a specialty and a team of support around it. I want to talk about new advanced mammogram technology and how that's available and, and if you guys can tell us anything more about that. I can. We installed recently this year state-of-the-art mammography machines and some of those machines offer contrast enhanced mammography. And it's the most advanced technology right now, uh, the newest advanced technology to detect breast cancer in women with dense breasts. When, when you got, and I don't know if you can speak to this, but when new technology comes out or when there are advances in treatment, what is the atmosphere like at these institutes? You know, are, are you guys talking about, mm -hmm. okay, well now we have to implement this new thing or we have to get our hands on this new technology? Absolutely, yes. How do you think that helps with what you guys are doing in the breast cancer field? For the contrast enhanced mammography, we're the first ones in the valley to offer this. Previously, women would have to travel to, the closest one is in Oakland, mm -hmm. and we're lucky to have that here. It is, a, it is a big deal, you know, it's a big responsibility for physicians and for clinicians in the Central Valley because, you know, if we don't take initiative to, to bring that technology here, then, then our, our citizens and our patients, ha they have to either go to Los Angeles or, or go to Northern right. California. Okay, so back to the mammogram technology. When should we be getting mammograms? Starting at age 40 and every year after that. Once a year, 40 and above. Now, what about women with high risk factors? If they have a, you know, a direct relative who has had breast cancer? It's usually about 
10 years before that direct relative was diagnosed with breast cancer. So it could be earlier than age 40, but for most women it's going to be age 40 and up. Okay, so if I have, my mom gets breast cancer at age 40, I might think about or talk to my doctor about getting a mammogram maybe at 30 or 35, something like that. You would talk to your doctor about that, absolutely. Why don't we send women in earlier than 40? They have very dense breasts. Our breast tissue changes as we age. And we know that the number one reason women get breast cancer is just being a woman. That's your number one right. risk. And it is, could be just harder to see mm -hmm. through the mammogram before that. And most breast cancers are diagnosed after age 40. But there are always things that we can do to mm -hmm. stay on top of our health. You know, our uh, self breast exams are yes. very, very important. If we want more information, we want to stay on top of our health. We want to stay on top of our breast health. Where can we go for more information? How can we learn to, to do this self breast exam? Right. There, yeah, that's services. a great question. We can go uh, contact one of our navigators for education of how to do the breast self-exam, which is very important in that. You don't have to wait until you're 40. You can um, start. It's very mm -hmm. important to wait about seven days after a woman's uh, cycle to make sure that they're accurately doing it. But that's very important to help uh, a woman detect if there's something abnormal that they are feeling on their breast to get in contact with their physician as soon as possible. So how does having these two facilities basically on the same campus ultimately benefit patients that uh, come to you? Our collaboration is seamless and our patients have a warm handoff uh, from one department to the next so they make sure that regardless of what department they're in, we are focused on their care and they will have the same support. Because the Raiden, the Raiden Center, that's where you go for your imaging. That's where you go to see if there is cancerous cells or if there are any masses, correct? Yes. And then you hand off the patient then to go get treatment at your center. Yes. And what's the name of your center again? Community Cancer Community Institute. Community Cancer Institute. Yes. So we have the Raiden Center and then we also have the Community Cancer yes. Institute, you know, wrapping their arms around all the patients. Because I'm sure it can be very overwhelming, you know, when you hear that you right. have cancer answer, the last thing you want to think of is making a million appointments and going to a million different places. Yes. Yeah, even if, you know, we never find anything, it is, no, it is good to know what your baseline is, what's normal, mm -hmm. so that you're very aware if something changes exactly. down the line, you can spot that, you can spot that quickly. Well, thank you both so much for being here. This is always great information, always good to know how we're advancing yes. care here in the Central Valley. Thank you both for being here today. Well, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it.